G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here from the Byron Bay Observatory. I am a scientific masochist in a toxic relationship with an abusive partner, Domi McDomeface. But for some reason, like a battered spouse, I just keep going back for more. I just can't get enough of those photons. John Dobson, who popularized the Dobsonian telescope once said, If you want to do photography, well, in the first place, you've got a disease because all the pictures have been taken by Lick Observatory and all you have to do is go and buy them. You can't buy film for the price you can get the pictures. Does he have a point? No, wow, what a stupid thing to say. All the pictures have been taken, John. All of them by the Lick Observatory. Ouch, man, I don't want to talk ill of the dead, but that quote did not age well. You're giving Dobsonian users a bad name, John. And Dobsonian users already have a bad name. In this video, I'm going to do what I always do and run my app and probably offend someone. But I'm saying the things that you are thinking and too afraid to say in case you might offend someone. So buckle up, snowflakes. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. It's been a rough season, not just for me, but for everyone. The climate has been particularly unforgiving in Australia, but also around the world. And I've been hearing from subscribers across the globe about just how bad it's been lately. I haven't been able to finish a single proper image run all summer. When I can't do astrophotography, I turn to my other hobbies like guitar. I've played a lot of guitar in the last two months. I'm basically Jimi Hendrix now. Addiction is when you have a strong physical or psychological need or urge to do something or use something. And for me, for years, this has been astrophotography. As the weather lashed my observatory and the gradual march of time increased its entropy, everything I was working to build started to crumble before my eyes. Cameras failed in the unforgiving heat and humidity. Errors started to creep into the dome geometry, batteries failed, frames dropped, and real-life personal issues started to compete for the time I spent using the observatory at all. is more important than my astronomy work. I have a family, a job, clients, and other obligations that will all pull me away from taking photos of space. But sometimes the clouds part. There are some nights when everything just goes right. You've solved all the problems. The night is clear. The nebulae are there for the taking. You see the moment in time, you see the depth of the electromagnetic spectrum in ways that your unaided eyes simply cannot. With increasingly better technology, you see things that professional observatories would have dreamed of when John Dobson called astrophotography a disease in 1988. And when you see the real-time images of space coming in on your screen, even unprocessed, noisy and raw, as an astrophotographer, you can see the potential already. You know where this is going, and you just can't stop. I love astrophotography and there's something that I can't describe, that I can't put my finger on when I'm sitting there in my warm room watching the data come in on the screen. 
when I'm planning shoots, when I'm looking at the raw data, and when I'm processing and stacking, there's a buzz that you get out of it that is really hard to describe, that perhaps John Dobson never experienced or never understood. And I don't know why visual astronomers can't feel that. I feel it when I look through a telescope. I get that tangible feeling of real-time view through the eyepiece. I get it. I know what that feeling is for the visual astronomers, but a lot of them seem unwilling to grasp the fact that we get that same feeling and we get it for hours because of astrophotography. If you're a complete addict like I am, and thank you for getting to the end of this video, please support the sponsor of this video, High Point Scientific. High Point Scientific are a New Jersey vendor, but now they ship globally. They have all the brands that you need. I vouch for them. And I've heard comment after comment from their happy customers in my comments on my YouTube videos. They're here to help you with your astrophotography journey as I am, or at least I try to be for you. This was a bit of a different video. It's more about the inspiration behind what we do and why we do it and the inexplicable urge to do it. And I hope that some of you feel that urge the same way I do. And I'm not just a crazy person. Hope all your families are happy and healthy and your astrophotography journey is going well. Thank you for your support over all of this and I'll see you next time. Remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die. But the specialty of these, these things is that they move easily. They go wherever you push them and they stay wherever you leave them. But they don't track things across the sky. They're not good for photography, no.